Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Okay, let's pick up some pencils and draw. Okay. Okay, I have here white charcoal. I'm gonna start just making everything darker. Just not pretty dark, dark, slightly dark. Okay, I want just a mid tone. Okay. Now I'm gonna copy just just shapes, darker shapes. I'm squinting. Okay, for example, here, look at the shape. You even can draw it like this. And now the other eye. Same. Now for the nose, I mean you know they always measure from the eyebrows to the nose to the chin. Okay, I will check out proportions. Okay, let's see. I'm stepping back a bit and comparing. Okay, continue here. I mean, right now I don't know where's the edge. It could be here. It could be here. I don't care that much about that. But definitely, uh, I'm complaining a lot. You know, I'm moving my eyes really fast between the drawing and and the photograph. Check out the lightening of the eyebrows, mouth, the base of the nose, how tilted is the nose. I always can use uh, my, my a stick here or a, or a brush and put it on top of the photograph and then move, move that to my drawing and see how tilted is the nose, the eyes. Okay, I was comparing, I continue. Oh, hello, Ian. Ian Davison is asking me, have you ever consider, considered using general charcoal, white pencil for brighter highlights? Uh, oh, hello, Simaji greetings for Azerbaijan. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I will, I will, I will definitely use more, more materials. Uh, but, uh, you know, yeah, I will try. You know, it's it's, it's not like I, I just use this. I prefer this because it's you know I get to the darker values really fast. And I like charcoal. And I mean more than, more than charcoal. This is the one that I use I mean, for the darker values in Pastero. Because it's, with this that I have here, that's 
Uh, I don't get to the darkest darks. I'm gonna try those. I mean, I have here a couple of times people mentioning those general generals mm, charcoals. Let me read again. Generals charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes you know, um, I'm gonna do this with my fingers to take out the oil from my fingers. Sometimes, you know, is uh, is kind of difficult to erase and to get to the white of the paper to get a really high light, a really light highlight. Uh, a few times I have used for a highlight when I got the problem, a touch of acrylic, white, just. You know, a touch on the eyes, and that was enough. And or or, or this, the uh, you know, white pastel pen, pastel pencil. Okay, now I'm gonna use this. Stepping back, squinting. What I wanna try uh, for sure is sang sanguine. I love that. I remember when I was a student, I loved to draw with sanguine. I don't have any sanguine, I gotta go buy it. Pastel, let's see. Check out. Hola, Carolina. Gracias. <coughs> Man, just squinting and bouncing my eyes between the photograph and my drawing and comparing okay. Okay. I have lost the shape of the eye here make it a little bit darker okay that's the shape hello Socrates charcoal today yeah, I, I used to go live uh, 
I try to go live daily, drawing on, on the mornings and at nights, and you know this is I just lately with charcoal. I got some live streams on my channel where I, I draw with ink. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to ink. The the thing is that is is more relaxing for me to draw with, with charcoal. I mean you see it's kind of slowly process. Uh, I erase, I go back. I love to work with my fingers. You know, I love the softness I got. And I think that I got at the same time, you know, when I work with the, the, my fingers and the near eraser, uh, some soft, let's say, subtle movement. Or I want to believe that. With ink, it's definitely it's more stressful yeah, because it's difficult to erase, obviously. Difficult, impossible, no? When I have uh, tried to erase, I mean, well, I, it's, let's say that's possible, but not by erasing, erasing, but basically painting on top with white ink. So that's what I did. Ian Davidson, I find Conte. Okay, Conte. Uh, Paris, that's the brand, have the best sanguine pencils and pastel crayons to draw with. Oh, thank you. Hello, Monique. Oh, Socrates is saying, I like charcoal, I just never used it. The closest I did was graphite powder, but it's messy. That's why I avoid it. Uh, yeah, 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 definitely. Mm. I think this is a thing I, I, about getting used to because I got used to this way, to do this. Uh, I mean, but I stopped like working with my fingers like years ago, but that was something pretty common for me as a student. You know, using uh, just paper, uh, tissue paper. Yeah, using the fingers, that was something pretty common. I don't know when I stopped doing that, but for sure I stopped and then and coming back, it feels so good for me. Yeah. The only thing I gotta add after I finish up, I gotta take this uh, dishwasher, this blue thing, I don't know how, what's the name. I, I, I you know wash my hand, hands with that, with because with a regular soap, it, it this kind of the charcoal doesn't come out the pastel doesn't come out easily. It was something pretty common. I, I know. I mean, I remember my my friends, all of us, you know, all <laughs> with black hands, black fingers, just working. Socrates saying everyone that sees my sketches keep telling me to use charcoal. Maybe I get a few sticks of charcoal tomorrow. Yeah. Give it a try. Well, what I'm gonna do definitely I'm gonna try, I'm gonna I mean I'm gonna use sanguine, that's gonna that's gonna use on my next drawings. 
and obviously I'm gonna go back to use ink okay let's see Another thing that one of my patrons started a, a challenge to draw daily for a month. I mean, I tried, I, I draw daily, you know. But anyway, that was nice just to uh, see, uh, you know, the, the challenge and the kind of push you to draw more. It's just like if one day I say, hey, I'm not going to draw today, I'm thinking, yeah. I gotta do it. So there's more people out there just drawing daily. And now this patron suggested yesterday, let's paint, you know, let's a new challenge, like one portrait per day on oil painting. I was thinking, yeah, I wanna draw, I wanna paint. One portrait per, per day, that would be nice. And for me, at the same time, to get some money from that, I will do it on my channel, you know? <laughs> Let's see, I gotta uh, erase here. Stepping back. And I mean, we're posting the drawings on a private group, it's just a, a group for my patrons. Sorry to tell you yeah. that you won't see it. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Nilu. to my to the group to my patreon account you gotta pay baby Oh, 
my screen look a little bit darker yeah Hello Nikki, good morning. Hola Alexis.
Um segundo, um segundo. Uh, one, one second. Ma! Ma! Hay una... Hay una pelea afuera. ¿Dónde mira para que te distraigas? No, ese tío que está... Pero está mal el señor. Uh, I was saying to my mom that a couple of neighbors here in the condo uh, are fighting e each other, you know, they are screaming at each other. I told my mom, hey, go see, go see what happens. In that way that uh, she got distracted, you know, she's almost 90 years old, she doesn't see too much, she doesn't have too many, too much action or entertainment. Just watching TV. You know, my mom is just like a like a pit bull. Maybe she's gonna join the fight. <laughs> uh, it's not it's nothing serious, you know. Otherwise I would I wouldn't tell my mom like to go. Now my mom is laughing out at the door. ¿Fue buena la pelea? Sí, esta leche también es buena. Porque es linda. No sé, no es mi sabor. Oh, thank you, Nikki. <coughs> You know, my mom was was cooking. I told her about the fight. She was what? 
she went really fast to the door to see what happens. I think I got it, yeah? I mean, it looks like him. The Terminator, yeah. <laughs> Uh, to get uh, this highlight, you know, check out up, check out to the left. Here, this the same, you know. This looks, for me is this is a, like a triangular shape light. And check out the same here, here, and how it goes down. Quentin, I see light here, light, some wrinkles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, 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 okay. But I think I'm comparing. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. This, this, uh, I gotta, I gotta check out my, I gotta use a mirror to see this, because, um, yeah, um, okay, let's see the alignment up, I'm gonna make it more like that, okay, okay, I'm gonna use a cell phone, okay, as a mirror, okay, Yeah. And I'm gonna use this brush to see how tilted this this it's more tilted. So Socrates on Instagram is saying my problem is I'm too thick headed. <laughs> I want to learn pencil deep down is why I don't use charcoal. Thank you, Antar twenty twenty three. Uh, I didn't anyone kind of end up end up using I mean that's okay, you know some people just stay with one thing. For me, it's the same. Like I stay, uh, I've been maybe drawing with charcoal for the last year, or maybe a couple of years. And I mentioned a few times that I want to try sunwind, and it's been like a, a like a year, and I didn't try it yet. I mean, I didn't draw. With, I, I I have used sunwind, you know, when I was a student. When I was a student, it was always about hey, one one week, let's say, is was graphite. The other week it was sanguine, you know, or per, per month, one month just wet charcoal, okay. The other month, you know, graphite again, sanguine, and it was always, uh, they don't keep you in one thing. It's always, you know, you gotta change, change. Uh... I could say that my best drawings, I best I did my best drawings with graphite. But I spent a lot of time, you know, and the drawings that I think I, I loved the mo the most, that would be the ones with this. Uh, it was some kind of imagine wet charcoal, but it's, uh, like it was a powder. It was a, a color that uh, imagine that you combine sanguine with charcoal. You got brown. Okay. We got all of all of us. We got this uh, powder that we we bought the powder on a hardware store. I don't even remember the name, but that was pretty nice. It was kind of a combination between watercolor and drawing. Uh, I gotta say that I didn't try that again. I did try that just in the School of Art. Just that. Just there.
Hello, Manda. Oh, thank you. Hello, Jamie Pongs. It's the Arnold. <laughs> Hello, Arun, Arun Major. Hello, Mario. Is it Willow Charcoal or Compressed Charcoal? Oh, I started with this Willow Charcoal. Or right, but I mean, I got just what I got this uh, kind. I could, you can call it Vine Willow. It's kind of the same. And the darker ones, I got the darker ones with this. A uh, pastel stick. And I use this two charcoal pencil one is medium and the other one is soft see for a moment I see his face and I see a combination between you know Ar Arnold and uh, what's the name of this one Va Van Damme I don't know how to pronounce his name Van Damme Van Damme it's another a French actor <laughs> I think I need to add the hair to make it that's gonna complete the look. Forehead is not okay. Moving down this. this eye okay, 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 okay. looks like I gotta move this eye a little bit down yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, maybe a lot down mm. there then this gonna be up. Yep. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty glad I see that uh, I saw the mistake.
check out the other eye. Mm, this eye is good. Yeah. Nose. Uh, I'm gonna move the nose a little bit to the right. Hello, B. B. Silva. Thank you. Uh, I was wondering if you've you've done Elvis Presley. Oh no, not yet. Ah, good. Hello, Tiu Tao. Tiu Tao. Oh, thank you. Eh, uh, Nikki, saying what kind of? Charcoal or is it pastel to the court artist use? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, for for here, here is more about just charcoal. Charcoal and there's another type of um, that is like it's a it's graphite. You know, charcoal is one thing. They, then graphite, we use graphite, but it comes like this, thick like this. No graphite like the one like pretty thin like the lead is pretty thick and uh uh it's kind of it was pretty dark it was a kind I, I, I don't know I mean I could say that this some kind of it was some kind of charcoal but it looked like a combination between charcoal and graphite. Yeah, but it was shiny. That's the one that I, I used as a graphite. And, uh, we never, I mean, at the last year, my last year in the School of Art, I started to use more graphite. I started to use these uh, pencils, just like these ones. You know, the lid is, is thin and it's easier just to uh, work on details. And at that last year, I started to use these mechanical pencils. You know, that was pretty nice because they are always sharp. But when I was practicing my first year, second year, it's all, it, it, everything was about just the regular charcoal, this one. I never used, we never, I mean, my friends and I, pastel for for drawing. I would if I knew, but it's kind of you know the teacher it was this week. We're gonna draw with Sanguine. Everybody was yeah. This week or next month, we're gonna draw with graphite. And always there was like a, about like uh, he was planning just rotate the model every minute or five minutes. Uh, it was always about charcoal. We gotta use charcoal all the time because that was the easier way to to get you know the, uh, really fast the movement. And I remember one of my friends, you know, she she was pretty good on capturing gesture. And you can see her drawings, she didn't add any detail, but from the distance you can see the movement of you know, the body. Or even a portrait, you could feel you know, the form, but when you get closer, you could see that it was just shapes, shapes, shapes. And she was just drawing with charcoal all the time. You realize that maybe it's just because of the perspective, but he has a tiny ear. Huh? Hello, Michael. Hola, uh, 
José Adrián, ¿qué tipo de papel usas para dibujar? Este es un blog de dibujo que mis hijos solían usar cuando eran niños. Entonces yo <coughs> mantengo usando la, me mantengo usando el mismo blog porque es fácil de comprarlo en el mercado aquí. Es de 160 gramos. Es bastante simple. No he probado comprar este blog en una tienda de arte. No sé si lo tengan. Me cuesta como 2 dólares. I was saying that about my, my blog, that this blog, I mean about my paper, this is 150, 160 grams paper, just, uh, it comes on a sketchbook that my kids used to use, and I keep using this because you find these uh, sketches, sketches books everywhere here, any store have, have I don't know if an art store You know, the last time that I went to an art store, I, I saw the, the, you know, the paper there, the sketches books they have, and I saw obviously better qualities. I couldn't find just by looking everywhere this type of sketchbook I use. But anyway, I mean, uh, it's pretty nice. It takes pretty good, you know, charcoal. It takes pretty good. Uh, graphite I like it yeah. and since for, for me it's pretty easy to go to you know any market and find it yeah, I keep using this I both I bought for my daughter uh, a, a huge sketchbook Yeah, um, that was like a nice paper, pretty sure, and I, I didn't ask her, you know, because she has like a lot of sketchbook, she's sketching always with graphite, ink, watercolor, different things, I didn't ask her, like, how, how was the paper? I don't know, you know. Now that people are suggesting me more materials, yeah. I'm gonna try to get more. I think the upper lip is a little bit thicker. I have to just make it a little bit thinner. Nikki saying, I always thought just cheap news print paper takes charcoal really well. Yeah, charcoal is, you know, it looks like it works in, in, in on any surface. You can get the best of charcoal anywhere. Which is different, for example, for me for graphite. Because I got some, I have so many drawings with graphite on just Xerox paper. You know, and I could could I couldn't get to the darker shadows, and it's kind of a combination just between the paper, you know, and maybe me just being afraid of just going pressuring more. And for pastel, obviously, for pastel we need special paper. I didn't even try it once with, on this paper with pastel because I know that's not gonna work. Or if I get away with a nice drawing, it's gonna take me a lot of effort.
we have enough work trying to get you know the likeness proportions all of that values on top of that have problems with have issues with paper you know it's something that we don't want the same with <coughs> the same with oil paints Get into the hour. Nikki is saying it would be, it would be hard to draw or paint Arnold as a whole figure study. Oh, that would be nice for you know Tuesday's sessions. Yeah. Nice. Uh, hello. Hi. I don't know how to, how to pronounce your name. Sorry. Uh, oh, my name is Now. Sorry. <laughs> hello, Now. Oh, this is a just regular <coughs> a 160 grams paper. Just a pretty cheap, just sketchbook. I was saying just that a, a few minutes ago that that's the one that my kids they used to use for school. Okay, and the charcoal here I'm drawing with vine charcoal or willow charcoal. I mean, both are kind of the same. Charcoal pencils, I got medium and soft. And this is the one that I used to dark for the darker shadows. That's Pastera. Yeah, I don't remember if this soft, medium, or hard, but based on my just my experience with this. I would say that this is medium. And the brand of this, I remember, it was Fabric Aster because I bought a set of 24 colors, smaller sticks, and I got this one from there. Pretty nice, pretty awesome that somebody from Japan is watching my video. Yeah. Thank you, Mirages. Charcoal pastel. Oh, no, no, this is a pastel. This is just pastel. A regular pastel. What happens to both look similar. Yeah? This is a uh, vine charcoal. I used to call it vine charcoal, but just call it whatever you want vine or willow charcoal. Yeah? And this is the pastel. With this one, I don't get to the darkest darks. That's why I use the other one.
Mm. Okay, it's time for me to wrap it up. Thank you so much, everybody, for you know, being here. And uh, I, I would love to know if somebody's just drawing using my videos to draw. That would be nice. As usually, I uh, try to check out some sharp edges, lost edges, a sharp edge again, a lost edge. Sharp edge again. Sharp, lost. Gotta go now. Oh, thank you. Thank you now. Do you have live videos often? Weekly, perhaps? Yeah, I've been doing these live videos uh, like for the last week every day. No, not, not every day, but I mean, I, I, like, you know, let's say, let's say, like, I'm trying to draw daily. Okay. And I'm trying just to share this with everybody daily, but uh, from Monday to Friday, not uh, not Wednesdays because Wednesdays I have a group class. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I'm at, at, if I don't go live at night, sometimes I go live pretty late. If I don't go live in the morning, sorry, I go live pretty late at night. But I try, you know, to draw every day. And I will try to keep doing this here. Use this uh, to get the highlight here. Okay. What about highlight there? Mm, no, it's not working. Oh, hello Moody, what's the weather like where you are? UK is having a heat wave, wow. Yeah, here is, we're getting into winter. Uh, 
but we should be like uh, I mean this year has been odd you know we should be in winter in the middle of the winter but we're still not we're kind of you know autumn and it looks like an, a forever autumn here and summer it was pretty hot yep. Uh, definitely I like because winter here is not like it's gonna go under zero Celsius degree Celsius but definitely it's pretty cold yeah. okay that's it thank you so much everybody take care you all and see you Tom oh tomorrow is Saturday no tomorrow maybe Monday <coughs> yeah okay or any hour <laughs> tomorrow oh no oh Moody saying my art room is cooking to hit for any paint wow <laughs> okay thank you so much please don't forget the smash the like button <laughs> subscribe and thank you oh hello Mary your picture looks more like Arnold than the photograph does oh yeah oh thank you so much yeah take care everybody bye Socrates saying I was cloudy rained a bit 31 Celsius well yeah that's kind of hot Okay, bye everybody. See you all next time. I'm just checking for the last time, okay? <coughs> I wanna turn on some lights. There are a lot of lights here that block how I see my drawing on my screen. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, if I if I start looking for more things like things that are missing here and there. Yeah. Over here. Okay. That's it, that's it. No more. Gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>